Hi, my name is Brandon, and in this video I'm going to dive deep into ancient Greece. To be more specific, I'm going to be talking about a temple and as well mention a bit of history on how they were built back then. The temple I'm going to be talking about is the Temple of Hera. To be more specific, the second temple of Hera. It was built around the Doric order, around 460 to 450 BC. I'm sure you're wondering right now, well, what's the whole point of temples? Well, let me tell you, temples are not built for religious praying or somewhere to stand. They were built for dedication or devotion to a specific god. For the temple of Hera, to, for the second temple of Hera, it was for Zeus and as well as the goddess Hera. When it comes to the second temple of Hera, it's not like other temples during its age. It has six columns along its shorter side, 14 columns on its longer side, and typically with other temples, they would have 20 flutes on each column, but for the second temple of Hera, it has 24 flutes. When you take a look at the front of the second temple of Hera, you can see that the entablature is complete. Often, when it comes to the triangular space underneath the roof, you can see typically with other temples that it would be filled with statues. However, when it comes to the second temple of Hera, there are none, and there was none located around the site, which leave many to predict that it was painted instead of carved, but we still do not know. The plan of the temple is almost identical to the plan of the great temple of Zeus at Olympia, and is to presume that it was almost a deliberate copy, with both having two rows of columns down the cella, which is mind-blowing. Throughout this video, I'm sure you're really curious, I keep saying the second temple of Hera. Well, who was Hera? Well, let me explain. Hera was the, the goddess of marriage and life of all women, married to Zeus. She was also known as the goddess or queen of heaven. The second temple of Hera was built for three goddesses: Zeus, Hera, and Poseidon. But the main two were mostly focused on Zeus and Hera, since they were married to each other. So I'm sure you're probably wondering, well, who was Zeus? And if you don't know who Zeus is, are you living under a rock? <laughs> Zeus is the sky and thunder god in ancient Greek religion, who rules as king of gods on Mount Olympus. To give you some little facts about Zeus or his background is that Zeus became the ruler of heaven and earth after he revolted against his father, Kronos. He is also the father of Athena, who is said to have sprung from his head. Very creepy. If you also didn't know, Hades and Poseidon were also his brothers, and his wife Hera? Well, to tell you, that was also his sister. What a crazy mix-up of a family that must have been. Let's get back on subject and my main topic or focus of this presentation, which is to talk about the second temple of Hera. During the 19th century archaeologists, they conjectured that little would be found of early Greek monumental architecture because it would have all disappeared and been replaced by stone. This is a very useful explanation for why none of the wooden architectural elements did, in fact, survive. I might as well add in a little bit of facts of how temples were first built. Well, when they first started off, they were mostly mud, brick, and marble structures on stone foundations. That's how they started off. Being that the second temple of Hera was built around 460 to 450 BC, this would start to make it one of the oldest temples ever found and discovered, as well as excavated. When it comes to the second temple of Hera, the plan of the temple differs from the temple of Athena, as in the eternal layout. At the front, there are comparatively two small porches with only two columns. There is equal sized porch at the rear, the Osmodomius, however, the great glory of the temple is a huge cella with double row of double columns, presumably to cater for a very large cult statue, or big statue. When it came to the first structures or temples that were being built, the columns and superstructures were wooden. Door openings were protected with wooden planks. The mud brick walls were often reinforced by wooden posts and a type of half timber technique. When it comes to ancient Greek architecture, it is actually quite diverse. The Greeks revered, referred to temples with the term called ho naos, meaning dwelling. Temples diverse from a Latin term called templum. The earliest shrines were built with honored divities and were made from materials such as wood and mud, as I mentioned early in the video. In the end, the second temple of Hera was meant for Poseidon, Zeus, and Hera, all three major gods.